Hey guys, for today's journey is, I'm going to visit the historical church and the palace of Emperor Menelik II of Ethiopia. While we are heading out there, I'm going to tell you some facts about Emperor Menelik. Please stay tuned. According to the article that I read from the web, Emperor Menelik II was one of the great leaders ruling king and an emperor of Ethiopia. He became an emperor of Ethiopia in 1889. After his army defeated Italian forces at the Battle of Adwa in 1896, during Menelik's reign, Ethiopia became independent as his strategic alliances. The success in battles and Ethiopia's independence was recognized by the Italian and other European countries that were colonized in Africa. Now we arrive at the Orthodox Church that built by the Emperor. The Ethiopian Orthodox Church also believes the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Church practices the veneration of Blessed Virgin Mary and the other saints. Now we are entering the St. Mary's Church. As we can see, the Church has vibrant color with yellow, green, red, and blue as Ethiopia's flag that symbolize hope, fertile land, the sacrifice for freedom, and equality and peace. The place is so quiet and pleasant. Now I'm going to lead you and take a look of the home of Emperor Menelik and his wife, Empress Taitu, that the local people called as their palace. Let's come with me. The home remained over a hundred years. This is made of soil excavated from land where the house is built. The soil is made of additives like rice husk, paddy straw, and many more. The ceiling is also made of bamboo craft. Let's take a peek. Here at Sai, looks nature, 
screen and cool. After we peek into the small palace, I hope you guys learned something from this journey of ours. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video.